getting the clear and we take our base in. So again, I'm kind of telling our driver's name is Joseph, and I have one more person to introduce you guys to. Here to help us get started is my co-host for the tour and the host of the Tonight Show, and that's my team on NBC, Mr. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, hey there. I made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure you get through this experience in one piece. You got the very best guy. Hello. And the great Joseph. They're the best. I love them. Even though Hello. Only five bucks. That's exciting. Yeah, we do have a few safety rooms over at first. If you need guest assistance or have a medical emergency, if you drop something and value off the side of the tram, if you have sound or video issues, we have and grab the red emergency cord that runs along the center of the ceiling of the tram and out the back presents you as soon as the safe to do so. Otherwise, you will be in tie for the be seated, keeping your arms and the legs inside the vehicle at all times. The studio is private property if at any time you drop your phone, which can't wait to use the restroom for the red cord. Please so no smoking of any kind on the tram. Be clear. Our tour features loud noises, some tram movements, fire effects, and manual water effects. If you want to have your cameras out for great photo opportunities, but keep an eye on them so you don't get wet. Finally, for safety and to everybody around you, please don't use self six while you are on board. So, no self six on the tram. Thank you so much. As we make our way down the Universal timeline, uh, you'll see movie posters. These are just a few examples of the thousands of movies we have made in the past 109 years. Our history actually started in 1912 when our founder, Carl Lemley, brought his company to Southern California. On March 15th, 1915, he opened our doors to the public to watch movie King firsthand and the rest is history. Universal City was founded with and still has its own fire station. So on the right hand side coming up, you see our own fire station. We got some amazing fire fires here. We are busy now than we have ever been and are currently undergoing an immense expansion in the studio because we're filming and TV productions here in Los Angeles. You'll see some of that expansion happening on the left. As we arrive in front lot, houses, graded administrative offices, SAM and editing facilities, and the majority of our 36 sound stages. The first sound stage you're gonna see is the largest and the most historic sound stage on the lot. That is sound stage 12, which is coming up on the left hand side. It was constructed in 1928 and it's almost 30,000 square feet. So some of the largest sets have been constructed inside this sound stage, including Frankenstein's Lab. The Mansion is Mark 8. The Clock Power Element for Fast Future and Selling Art. Now, coming up on your left hand side, you'll see sound pages 9, 10, and 11. Season 1 of Bel Air was using these three sound pages. Bel Air is the chromatic reimagining of the 90s sitcom of Fresh Prince Bel Air. Season 1 is now available on Peacock. Season 2 and the upcoming season 3 of Bel Air has moved to these two sound pages coming up on the left side. Sound pages 7 and 8. Before Bel Air moved in, these two sound pages were home to Hacks, which is a universal television production on HBO Max from the Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor Gene Spark. Bel Air uses one more sound page, that is sound page 14, uh, which you guys will see very soon. Now, here are the actors from Roy Banks and Obey Jonathan. They are awesome. You just got me one of them again. So what is you put egg on the cheese? You put cheese on the eggs, on the cheese and spot. Whoa, how many seats in here? I've no stop in your life. We could probably fit the whole Bella Castle group in there. Oh, we might need one of these for the mansion. We can convert. Sure. We're looking for y'all. The place that we mentioned them is right here on the bus a lot. Right. Some of Bella's most pivotal scenes have been filmed right here. Gerard, what have been your most memorable moments? Well, the song is true, bro. You know, I've been in the movie, so when the world first enters, it got that moment as life changes. What about you? 
well. Oh. The Power Cafe gem set is here too, and I remember you having you said that cold ice bath. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Uh, the vehicles, set pieces, and uh, props coming up have been featured in Jurassic Park films. You might recognize this long green vehicle. Coming up on the left hand side is the mobile lift from The Lost World. You might remember the scene featuring Jeff Goldblum, Julia Moore, and Vince Vaughn. It's a great scene. Oh, what a great scene. In reality, the vehicle was suspended by a crane on top of one of our parking structures that was dressed to look like a massive cliff wall. Our green department with combination of real and artificial plants can easily cover the look of a tropical rainforest. But it's our special effects team that supplies the atmosphere. In Jurassic Park films, extreme weather conditions play an important role in setting just the right mood. Creating weather for film and television has always been an interesting challenge. Here is the oh, 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 oh. Don't get my train. It's usually the same old sunshine day in and day out whenever we need a change in the weather for a production. We have to create it. Even if we have rain or inclement weather conditions, filmmakers still need to control the elements on set to create the right effects for the camera. So today, our special effects team has prepared a weather demonstration. We are going to show you how we create rain for movies and TV shows. This next location is perfect for this demonstration. Well, we're now in Mexico. This location is beautiful. It's gorgeous. The light we have to soak into like the best hour to come to this location. Everything looks, just looks so perfect right now. As you can hear, uh, the show has started. We got lightning, we got thunder. We are just waiting for the rain again. The lighting is so good. We're gonna see the rain very clearly. And that's the point. We have to see the rain. And we got rain. If you look up, you can see a sprinkler system that is shooting water straight up into the air. The water falls back out naturally, and that's how we create rain for movies and TV shows. Uh, it's really simple, but realistic and effective. Our special effects team did a fantastic job. Thank you so much, guys. You guys can do your stuff right now. Thank you, Oh, Excuse me, guys. Stop it. Okay, how about I here? Uh oh. Do you guys hear a low rumbling noise coming from the top of the hill? Something's wrong. I think we overdid the rain. We overdid it. We're gonna get something wet. Who is ready to get wet? The is the result of thousands of gallons of recycled water using some large tanks located on top of the hill. Let's see what this flash flood looks like on screen. This is from the movie The Cat Liar with Paul Giamatti, Frank D. and Amanda Bynes. From Old Mexico, now let's make our way to the East Coast. Let's go to the Amity Island. A small new Indian town terrorized by a man eating a great white shark in one of Universal's greatest pits, Jaws. But I hear that the people of Amity are breathing the sigh of booty these days because they caught the shark. On the right hand side, they caught it. It looks small though. But the island's beautiful. It looks so peaceful right now. So beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. There is another shark in the water. This one looks bigger. I think they caught the wrong shark. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh, that's my friend George. Uh, George, get out the water. You guys caught the wrong shark. Oh no, poor George. He was such a nice guy. He really was. I'm gonna miss him so much. Oh no, that's horrifying. I'm so sorry. You guys had to see that. It's traumatizing. Let's hope the shark won't attack us. Everybody be careful, it's a little scary out there. Oh. 
to be the stewards of a number of franchises. However, we also have a mission, which is to bring new stories and new characters into the world. That's why, in migration, a family of ducks will embark upon what will become a journey of a lifetime. We meet some funny, silly, likable new characters. Everything will be all right. Yeah, no, I'm okay. We can do it. This movie is a reminder that no matter how fearful we might become, there still is a beautiful world out there to experience. Okay, enough about flying. Let's talk more about driving. We have more picture cars to show you. You'll see the black Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious 1, 7, and 9. Some really good looking cars here. Okay, now picture something. Picture a woman uh, driving a hill pink 1957 Ford sedan from Movie Psycho, from director Alfred Hitchcock, starring Anthony Perkins and Janet Lee. And it was on a short stormy night, Marion Ray was driving on the run from the law and after stealing $40,000 from her boss. She turned on Highway to find a small out of the way hotel with 12 rooms and 12 vacancies. On the right hand side, you see two of the two of the most iconic sets still standing in Hollywood, the Bates Motel and the Psycho House. Oh, I know that guy. That is Norman Bates. Uh, this is his hotel. He was here. What is he up to? You know what? I think I should say hi. Hey, Norman, what's up? Okay, he's busy. Well, anyways, we're gonna stop here so you guys can take some really good pictures of these two iconic sets. The Bates Motel and the. Okay, this is getting really creepy. I have a bad feeling about this, but you know what? As long as he doesn't see us, we're good. So I'm gonna stop talking. So hopefully he doesn't notice us. Uh oh. 
It's too late. He's looking at you. Uh oh, that's saying he's fucking fast. We have no idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to check out of the Bates Hotel. The second house is coming up on the left side. If you look closely, you might even see Mother peering out the bedroom window. It's really creepy. She's on the second floor. She's not facing us right now, but she will be. And now she's facing us on the second floor up there. Uh, right behind this house is one of the most spectacular sets ever created. The crash site from Steven Spielberg's alien invasion movie, War of the Worlds. We'll be stopping here for a few moments so you guys can take some really good pictures. This amazing set is what remains of the neighborhood where Tom hangs out with the film. This is an actual Boeing 747 aircraft that was destroyed specifically for the scene. This movie used over 500 effect shots. You know, that is a lot of special effects. 500 effect shots. That's a lot. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of Stephen. We sit down to sit down and talk about the world. And I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing great. You're doing great. Close your eyes, okay? You just got them closed. Robbie, get in. Get in. Universal has been fortunate to work with generation defining directors like Alfred Hitchcock and Steven Spielberg. Now we're thrilled to partner with Academy Award winner Jordan Peele. In just a moment, we'll be taking you to Jupiter's Plane, the actual set from his sci fi thriller Nope, which stars Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, and Stephen Yen. Now, welcome to Jupiter's Plane to tell you about the set. Here is Mr. Jordan Peele himself. Not me, thankfully. And bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Plane, a nostalgic small time Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Jude Park. Over there, look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Share. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Blood. A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. Not looking so live, then, huh? Energy. Behind this novel fantasy, all the rough frontier town, lies a series of secrets. It is smacked at central. You are the hot spot. Welcome to the world of the known. Uh, this is the entrance to Fast and Furious Supercharged. We need everybody to be the actors in the scene, so this is the setup. One of you is an undercover witness, and the international criminal Owen Shaw is after you. We're gonna keep everybody safe in here. We don't need those 3D glasses just yet, so let you know when to put them on. Let's see how this plays out. This will be fun. Oh, 
disappears. Seems to me, a body armed to access a special shoe for sure for a while. We brought you in our secret spot. All right, look, guys, we're going to keep shot and find him. But to keep you safe, we need your help. We don't want the thing to get tracking us. So put away your cameras and turn off your cell phone. One flash, one ringtone to do this work. I need you all to take this real serious. Okay, pull into the next hole. back up a little bit. Got it. Right then. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Cop, I suggest you clear out of here, otherwise we can't guarantee your safety. Guarantee my safety? I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. Um, let's go this now, guys. Let's go, Cookie Puss! That ugly suit old man. It's cheap. Somebody out there really pissed off Shaw. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't show off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just I'm gonna remember this fact. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Where? It was on vibrate. Shaw tricks, girls. I just can't hold them forever. Letty? Roman, we're up. Try to move the vehicle. It's about to get real intricate. The Mona Lisa's all warmed up right next door. Roman, grab your truck. I need you and Letty ready to roll. Okay, I think we can set the letter on I think you should put those three feet glasses on. Hold on, you'll be on me. Which one of you is the witness? Speak now or you all get fried! This is our turn. That's the laugh. Okay, guys, it's so dark. Come on, up. This thing ain't going fast enough. Come on, let me hook him up. Now we're moving. You give me the witness to run when we call it the dagger! Witness is mine, Lenny! How about you eat ass, Fox? Don't think you're getting away! Come in! Where to go, Lenny? Two of them at the missile shop! Not gonna happen! Don't worry, I got this! Mama, don't show the pen on the grill! Under construction! Hit the nitrous! We're not gonna make it! Thank you. 
The blockbuster action sequence is a great example of modern day filmmaking. For over 100 years, Universal has been growing audiences from around the globe by making them laugh, cry, and sit on the edge of their seats. Now, we are nearing the end of our tour. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us on the world's famous video tour. To our pass holders, thank you so much for being here with us today. If you're not a pass holder, and to the your box office or any of our employees. To purchase the NBC Universal movies and TV shows you've seen on the tour, visit www.com. Com or ask today at one of our retail stores. On behalf of our driver, Joseph, myself, Helen, and everybody here at NBC Universal, we hope you have enjoyed your exclusive behind the scenes Hollywood experience and please enjoy the rest of your day here at Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of LA. And that is it. Thank you.